What's up guys, today's video is on the bodyguard scratch proof transparent film for the iPhone 3G and 3GS and uh, I got this from Renee at the iPhone enthusiast blog and I'll put a link to that in the sidebar and uh, I'm gonna start off the video with a quick little unboxing so here we go let me get my knife alright so these kinds of um, films or yeah films are meant for if you do not want your phone to have a case you put these on there it'll stop scratches and stuff not really for drop protection but it'll stop scratches so this is for you if you are into that kind of thing and let's see what we got hmm. I guess you got the protectors themselves here let's see the shine there it is. And then you got the solution. You spray this on the phone, I guess, and then you stick the films on there. A squeegee. It says bodyguards. Nice little squeegee. And that's it. And in here we have the instructions on how to install it, which are pretty big. And we have uh, how to install instruction videos available at bodyguards.com pretty nice little box and this does come with two bodyguards so just in case you mess up on the first one you'll have an extra extra chance to put it on and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to install it I might show you guys that or I might just go straight to the review and have clips of me installing it see how it goes but that was just the unboxing got the bodyguards application solution uh, and then you got the front of the iPhone. You guys can see that in the light. And then the back of the iPhone. So uh, I'm gonna go try it out, and I'll be right back. Now the instructions say I have to spray my fingertips. and then get the protector or the film, whatever you want to call it start peeling it off slowly not to rip anything you know now that it's off spray this with the solution don't spray directly on your phone and the solution is safe, it's made of soap and uh, water Line up the camera hole. Wow. Oh. The camera hole and the headphone jack first. Squeegee out any air bubbles and stuff. And they say start from the middle first and slide out. Now it said if the corners weren't lining up too well to go away for like five minutes, ten minutes, and then come back to it when it's a little bit more dry so you could uh, put the corners down. Now these corners aren't going down for me right now. I guess they're still pretty wet. This side is down. Damn, perfect. A lot of massaging that I'm doing here. Gotta keep working this because there's always bubbles building up everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here for about five minutes and then keep working at it. Alright, it's been about ten minutes, so I'm gonna give it another shot on the corners here. See if they stay down now. I don't know, I'm not having any luck with these corners, they're not staying down for me. I guess all I could do is wait another another 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, check it out. This is the the biggest problem I'm I'm having with this. It's the corners just won't stay down for me. Now they stick down more and more every time I wait 10 minutes, but this time they're really not just going down at all. 
So I'm probably going to wait another 10 minutes and see what happens because it's just not working out too good for me. And yeah, uh, that's the little update I got for you guys. Let's just keep waiting. Alright guys, it's been another like 10 minutes and this corner over here is down. This corner is about 90% down. Same with this one. I'm just having a little troubles with this one. But it looks like it's coming together pretty nice. So uh, I'm just going to push it down a little bit more and then wait another 10 minutes. So that's one thing you got to know about this by now that it's going to take a really long time to put one of these on. So make sure you have a good amount of time to put it on. And uh, I'll see you in another 10 minutes. Alright guys, it's been about an hour since I first put it on and finally all the bubbles are gone and it's on there nice and flat. All the um, air bubbles around the middle are gone. The corners are down flat. And uh, yeah, it took about an hour. So if you're going to install one of these, make sure you have just about an hour of, of time set aside to do it. And looks pretty good. I'm just going to use it for a couple weeks and have the review for you guys. Alright guys, so it has been about two weeks since I first put this film on my phone, this bodyguards film. And uh, I only put it on the back of the phone because I already have a screen protector on the front. And it's on there perfect, so I didn't really want to... It's kind of dirty right now, but... It's on there pretty perfect, so I didn't want to remove it. But the back, I did put on the back. And after about, let's say a week, I got these tiny little lifts on the corners they were really small they're bigger now and they slowly got bigger with time but I'm pretty sure that's probably because of my uh, how I installed it I'm sure there's a better way I think I've seen something on uh, YouTube where somebody uses like a a hair dryer and they heat it up and then it just folds right over and overall I use it around the house a lot because it protects around keys or anything I have in my pocket. Sometimes I've, I've used it like a week straight without a case. And it's pretty scary. But it does protect the phone a lot. I'm really hitting it pretty hard here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm not scared of scratches at all. What I'm scared of is dropping the phone. I'm always using a case and dropping. I've dropped it like once or twice, but without a case, it's really, really scary for me. Although holding the phone, it's just like the original iPhone. It's really thin, feels good in the hand. It just feels a lot better without a case. So it's good if you don't want to have a case, but drop protection is very minimal. And scratch protection is perfect. I mean, I'm hitting it with this key pretty hard. And I don't know if you could see, let's see right here. It leaves like a dent from the key. And then it just goes away with time. And then it's back to normal. Just clean it up. And it looks good as new. I do recommend you get it. I haven't tried out the front, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as the back. I mean, scratch protection is crazy. I'm kind of scared to hit it with a razor. Let me try it. I don't know. Let me see if you guys can see. Let's focus right there. It's like cutting. It's like cutting through. So a razor is kind of scary. Those are not going away. <laughs> but with keys or like, let's see if I got a pen here. Pencils, stuff like that. It's gonna protect you from scratches. When it gets into knives or something like that, it's kind of. Uh, it's a little bit more scary. But yeah, I really like it. You guys should uh, pick one up if you want. No case on your phone. Scratches do go away from keys and stuff like that. Not so much razor blades. And it does lift up on the corner, so it's kind of hard to install your first one. But it comes with two. See right here. So you could probably do better on the second one. And it took me an hour to install, so... I don't know if it's just me, but it took me an hour. So make sure you have time to do that. 
and uh, I think at the end of this clip video I'm going to take it off to show you guys if I got any scratches from all this stuff that I did to it thanks to Renee at the iPhone enthusiast dot com and I'll see you guys later and no we don't got any new scratches looks like the bodyguard works pretty good I keyed it knifed it you got it with the blade a little bit and uh, they held up so there's your review and I hope you guys liked it make sure you comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you later